Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. And in case you haven't watched the last one, which I don't know why, they're all uploaded one right after the other, we have taken Brauron, we have just let them die inside the siege because I couldn't be bothered to actually do it. With this army, we'll, we'll then go for the Kelia. No problem whatsoever. This is a small Greek army over here, not doing much. And after that, we already have, I believe, two ships here. And I completely forgot where my diplomat is. He's somewhere around. But we have besieged Sikion. Yes, we have We have not gone for Ornoi. Because my ally in Mega, or Megaris, if you want to... I don't know how to say it. But they sent a diplomat to me and they were like, You know what? Do you want to help us attack the guys in Sikion? I was like, well, that's my next stop after this one. So, I mean, we could ignore it. We don't really properly need it. I mean, you can just go back after that. But I saw a couple of things. First things first, after I got the... The... Um, there was the, the trading the map information for map information I went over this I cannot do it now I cannot right click on the map because I am currently in the battle but I right clicked here and this also belonged to Sikion and it borders Sparta over here I don't know if you can go through here maybe it belongs to this I believe that belongs to them but I don't really care to be honest I'll just go around and go for Sparta in the place where Epaminondas died we should. We, we, I mean, we're not sure. We need to take it. We want to take out Sparta. Sparta is not going down without a fight. Argos and Sparta have been going at it for a couple of years now, and it's it has been inconclusive. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to attack. But first things first, I need to take care of this situation. And this situation is not that difficult of a situation. We have Pefkolaus. Which is quite a good commander, and if we look at his stats, he also has some line cavalry. If we look at his stats, so, so plus two to the valor of your general's bodyguards, okay. Okay, okay, shield bearer, plus one to the valor. Okay, philosopher, poet, mm, that doesn't matter. Okay, so the other things that he has superior commander gives you more okay not that not devout been in the wars plus two to the general's hit points okay he also has 300 percent increase the cost of prep doesn't matter he's a faction leader untouched by fear plus one to morale for all troops bloody plus one to morale for all troops 300% so it's a 600% increase to the cost of bribe on a character that can never be bribed just basically Philosopher was 150, so that's 750% the cost to bribe a character that is unbribable. Plus, plus see the personal security, okay. Obsessed by security, plus one for four to personal security, okay. Casual adulterer, plus one to morale, so that's plus two or plus, plus two plus one, I believe that's plus three already. Social drinker. And revered plus four to morale for all troops, and I believe a plus four to the valor of the general's bodyguard. That is an incredible army that is right inside the city. Outside the city, though, they have a couple of javelmen well, three javelmen, three militia hoplites, which will be quite easy to handle with my own cavalry and militia hoplites, but this one. It will also not be that difficult, but Pefkolaus is going to be a tough nut to crack. I will basically have to throw my mercenaries onto him. And because this is the capital, I'm hoping we are able to recruit a couple more units and leave a couple of the battered mercenaries in the garrison, because I know I'm going to have a lot of battered mercenaries on the garrison. So, with that said, yeah, it's gonna be a f god damn yeah it's gonna be a very very big nut to crack let's get to it he's gonna be a tank we're gonna fight a tank my god welcome everybody to the battlefield i 
I am quite ready to go and attack them. I have yet to see how my line cavalry looks. They actually look really nice. I do like them. My militia hoplites with some upgrades on the on the shields and the the weapons are good to go. Same with everyone else on the army. And we have some hoplites over here, more hoplites, and more hoplites, and the chosen hoplites. I will need to safeguard these as much as possible. And then we have our generals at the back. Let's get the battle started. Okay, they are right on over there. And fortunately, these are only the militias. So I'm not too worried about them. The enemy with the dastardly guy is over there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna get myself over to here and get you lads there. Generals there and the these guys right here. Cavalry can just Walk and they have the sound of the companion cavalry. Okay. The enemy have brought more men to fight. Okay, what are they? They're rushing me. Okay, they are the attacker. Yeah, because they are the attacker, I can just go and do this, I guess. Okay, let me just use the basic cavalry instead of my good cavalry on this particular fight for the moment. Okay, the Cretans can stand up on that hill, I don't mind it. Well, my cavalry though, I'll need to swing around from the side, don't want them to get caught in the melee just yet. Okay, they need to go around. Okay, the melee has begun. Good stuff. My cavalry has made short work of short work of them. And some militia hoplites are already routing. Well, alright then. The enemy general flees. Oh, and they've all routed. Okay, then that was quick. Only frightened rabbits running from our men. That was rather quick, my god. Okay, and where are the enemy approaching from? They're off, coming from there. Okay, give me a second. Get my men there, get my men there. All four of you back here. You lads go there, the Cretans over there. My cavalry there. And the rest of my cavalry can just pursue them and kill as many as possible. There's still quite a lot that needs to be killed but I'm fairly confident in them. We have sustained minimal casualties which is marvelous to see. Okay, those are done. They are approaching rather quickly I would say. Okay, get these lands there and get the normal hoplites back here. We're gonna have an inactive unit of Oh this is this is the first time I've actually seen the peasants in action. Okay, hoplites which look quite nice. More hoplites and the general's hoplites. Along with some line cavalry. Okay, and 
militia hoplites, you'll need to run. Oh damn, those are- ah, oh, they ran away before I could- okay. Didn't realize that the red line of doom was so close. And I'll need my cavalry over on the right flank. The line cavalry can stand on the middle. If they have line cavalry, that means they have the means to recruit them. Right. They are rushing me. Okay, so what to do in this situation? You lines need to go there. And that's the bloody general. Right. Um, get them going there. Those will go there. The militia hoplites walk. No need to run. And both of you can walk forward. I'm wary of those. Okay, marvelous stuff. Okay, give me a second, because I will need my militias to go forward and attack them there. Both of you run a run around. Okay, good. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, uh the feet seem certain, I'll just attack them from the rear. Did I really lose so much cavalry against a unit of peasants? Oh no, I did not expect this. Okay, I basically did not that good of a job. Okay. Okay, new lads go around. You lads go around, go around. Okay, they are basically surrounded, so you can go there. You go around and surround this one. This one will be the toughest nut to crack. Where is their king? Right, we can just... Oh, then, never mind that, I wanted to do this. These are... Way, way tougher. I didn't think they would... Be this good. Okay, one unit has routed. It's a hoplite unit, good. They will most likely fight to the death. Yes, fighting to the death. And the... Well, the peasants are gone, and... My lads will enact their revenge. Actually, you no need to fire anymore. Right, everyone... Get into the melee. Yeah, no need to have them all run away. 85% killed already. Marvelous stuff. Right, fighting to the death. There's honestly not much of a point anymore. Only two remain. Oh, is this the ki the king? I believe that might be the king. Right, only one and he is dead. Now go. Everyone just blob around them. Why the hell not? Actually... around yeah we if we can keep the the very good units at the back taking no casualties I'll be happy mercenaries and militia hoplites I am 
quite happy for them to sustain casualties because it doesn't really matter much. Mercenaries are expendable. Militia Hoplites I can retrain everywhere, which is just amazing. How many? 16. 16 men still in the General's Bodyguard unit, and I believe they will never rout. Simply because of the four points of val- Oh, they have routed, and we have killed them! As I said it, we have- Alright! Okay, then, I did not expect that. I lost a lot of cavalry, especially in the Prodomoi. Did not expect that, but I'm quite happy, in all honesty. I'm really quite happy with how it turned out. The Militia Hoplites are doing incredibly well. With upgrades, they do incredibly well. Alright, so, a couple of updates. Now that a couple of turns have passed, I am still filthy rich, in all honesty. Yeah, I think about 4,000 per turn, and I have... I'm still building armies, which is just incredible, and I have two more generals that I adopted, which I'm probably never going to use. And what I am doing, well, I'm probably gonna use it, but what I am going to do is I might do the 25 provinces until victory, because we are getting really, really close to it. Or I could just go for sparse, I mean, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, yeah, okay, never mind what I said, we're going for Sparta, we, my objective initially was to actually go for this town which no longer belongs to the Arcadians, it belongs to this faction that I went to war and got my colony from, I'm going to ignore them, I'm going to bypass their lands, and I am going for Mantinea, the place where Epaminondas died, unfortunately. That is why we no longer have him on our sub, but we have Toikros, which has just been incredible as a, a faction leader. I mean, wow, and I'm falling in love with this mod, I really, really enjoy it, it's amazing. So, what am I doing? I took the Kellia, I also took... Phil... Philios? Philios? I took both Decay and Philios with, without any casualties whatsoever because it was only four turns until the town was ceded to me. That's exactly what I've done. I attacked the two generals that were going around the sides over here that belonged to Athens, killed them. Yes, That's why I have so little numbers in the Militia Hoplites and the faction Air. I decided to do the battles off recording because it was just they're not incredible so i'm going to save them up and i'm bringing them to athens to replenish what i am doing is i'm going to get myself four allied hoplites to invade salamis and with that maybe athens will stop bothering me because they are after Salamis, they will not have anything on the mainland, only only on the islands and whatnot. And I don't really care for the islands, in all honesty. I tried to sue them for peace right after I took the Kalea. Or the Kalea. They said no. Same as this faction right here, which I, uh, I've been at war with. Macedon place names. Okay, then that's weird. Must be a bug. So yeah, uh, not much has happened in all honesty. I'm building an army in Thebes. I am going to rebuild this army here with... I'm going to disband both of these mercenaries. Actually, these mercenary hoplites could go... Could go for Thebes. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. They are both going, going to go for Thebes. Actually, these three, and I'll get a new one of these. I'm going to get one quick notch in those mercenary hoplites to go to Thebes and join the army there. 
The rest will go to Athens, join the army of Allied Oplites. They'll set sail on the ships, onto Salamis, we will take it. And then with the same ships, we will traverse south. We will take the island of Kithra. And then we'll just get our ships here and attack from the south while this army attacks from the north. And while that happens, hopefully the army in Thebes is completely ready. They'll march to Athens where another fleet is waiting for them. And then we'll also invade them from the south, probably around here. Keep in mind that we don't need to take everything that Sparta has, only... Well, if... If... Uh, freaking Argos helps, they have taken that province. So, if Argos helps and takes more stuff, that will be helpful. But what we're probably going to be doing is we're going to attack with the army that's in Thebes. This province over here, Prasiai. Then they'll get into the ships again and attack Zarax. And then they'll go around and attack Cardamile. Hm, sounds like Camomile. And then we'll go for Sparta. I don't know what Sparta will have. But I know that I want to fight them. Right, let's get the turns going because we'll go for Mantinea next. So, I am gonna have to postpone my invasion of Sparta and probably go for the other type of victory, which is the my provinces. Even though it doesn't let me, I need to actually hold the 15 provinces and destroy or outlast Sparta, I honestly don't care. If I take the 25 provinces, I'm counting as a victory for myself. And I'm gonna have to postpone the invasion of Sparta because my long-lasting ally, this is why I never have allies in the, the original Rome, my long-standing ally, for the, which I had from the very first turn, they backstabbed me. I... I helped them gain Megara, I helped them gain that, I helped them gain that, but they are probably hurt that I took Sikion and Philois from them. You probably wanted that, but I want that. So what I'm going to do, I am going to utterly destroy them. They only have these three provinces. I'm bringing my, my death stack of an army back. I'm building an army here, which is actually going to be quite an okay army, quite an okay army, and I have this army over here in Athens, which will take three, six, seven turns until it is ready for battle. So until then, we will just have to wait, and yeah, we're just gonna have to wait, that's about it. So we are betrayed. Amazing. So, Megara, or Megara, or Megaris, well, suffice it to say, they have done goofed up, basically. I have a big, big army, commanded by my heir to the throne, right outside Megara. It is composed of him, cavalry and of Pravromoi, Two Cretan archers, two allied hoplites. I decided to only go with the two and actually build the rest as militia hoplites because, well, apparently most of my money came from the trade with Megara. So I lost quite a lot of money. If you can see, I only earn about 15,000 per turn. 15, well, 1,500 per turn, basically. Which, compared to the 4,000 I was earning previously, is quite, quite a lot. So yeah, um, they, they got me out of a lot of trade money. And all of the attempts, that, that, this is actually the biggest attempt that they actually tried to go for one of my provinces, but they went Next turn they went away. They went, next turn went away. They went for this one this turn. I came up with an army. Well, I came up with my ships. No. 
So this one came from here, I mean current. The, this army got stopped on the bridge and they went away. This is them over there. And there was an army there that were besieging me and they went away. I don't remember why, but they went away and then I disembarked my troops over here. My ship is even here. And now we're on the bridge. They are unable to go for Eleusis. They can go for Agoth Agosthena. But I don't know if they'll actually be successful in that, especially because the army in Thebes, well, it's three turns from completion. It's going to be a lot of militia hop because I don't really have the money for anything better at the moment. And militia hop you you guys have seen, they are incredible. In this army I have Baldy McBaldbald, which was actually a commander that they, they attack me with one Militia Hoplite and one Skirmisher. I just sounded because I had two Allied Hoplites and three Militia Hoplites in the garrison. I was like, what are you doing? I sallied. And then I got the Men of the Hour, so I got a new command. Which is marvelous. It's Pythagoras. Amazing. And... Yeah, I'm still probably going to do the invasion of Sparta, but first things first, we need to deal with the betrayal first. Because I really don't want this to just slide on by. Yeah, we're probably going to do... We're probably going to wait. If they sally out and attack us, that will be fine. But if they don't, that will be fine as well. Welcome everybody to the outskirts of Megara. Those over there are actually my ships. Some of them appear to be on land. That's quite okay. So that means that their port is around there somewhere. Oh, that's a love. Oh, that's the port over there. Oh, that's lovely. I really do love the original Rome and its little things. And we are being attacked by some forces that landed with one ship from Megara. That was it. And there's their capital right on over there. We are the defenders, so I'm more than happy to just stand still, stand right on back here with my mercenaries and my militia hoplites, my Cretan archers, and of course this new unit, the Allied Hoplites, which are so difficult to recruit and yet are not the best. Well, you know, it's the best that we can do with what we have. Let's start the battle. The enemy and... have brought up more reinforcements in a okay, lad. To save themselves. Thank you for speaking over me. Yeah, this army is just a plain army, nothing spectacular about it. It has three units of cavalry, one of them it's a unique unit for them, I believe. They... Or is it just... No, it's the the normal Brotheromoi. And then they have two line cavalry. Two units of peasants, which are actually better than you would think, according to the stats. And then one hoplite unit. That is it. Over on the other side. And yeah, they appeared right where the city is. Where is the commander unit? So peasants, peasants, they have one javelin man unit. Has to be this one. Yeah, it has to be the. Yeah, there's their king. That's the faction leader of Megara. Right, and they are going to approach us apparently slowly. I'm quite happy with that. I have all the time in the world. I have a lot of arrows. Because I have the Cretan Orchards, which are just the best in the world, apparently. They're not that good in this mod, but you know, it's it's better than what we can actually field normally. So, I'll just take it. For the time being, we're just going to look at what our own, our, our own units actually look at. Which is just a bunch of idiots approaching us. My triple speed, otherwise... It, it's going to take forever. Right, the Cretans are already firing. Okay, and once they do their thing, they appear to be going... 
appear to be going for this flank, but they're not going to have much success. They're already routed on contact. Okay, then. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Okay, stop. Okay, and both of you stand back and run back into your positions. I'm gonna need to, to go after those. Oh, damn. Okay, the charge did not work. Marvelous. Okay, they came back. Um, never mind what I was going to do with the cavalry. I can just run circles around them, I guess. Okay, you're gonna need to be in god mode, otherwise I'll just pursue everything. Okay, they are trying to charge at me. That will not work. I do, however... No, I don't want... Just use the javelins on them. Marvelous stuff. The other army is still a bit away. It's a way away. Okay, I don't think we'll actually do much. Okay, no, we did quite a good chunk of damage. We actually routed the unit. Okay, let's go and charge that one unit. Let me just adjust myself on my chair. There we go, we are golden. Okay, out of there you go. You've actually done quite a good chunk of damage. Now I should probably have my cavalry units go the other way. Because of their shields, if they turn around, it is much better for me. There we go. That way the Cretan archers actually have a much, much better time shooting at the enemy because the flank that does not have any shield is actually the one facing them. Once they get close enough, you know what to do. Go away. Because you are a cavalry unit. Mm, might as well not. Oh, might as well, yes. Okay. This is actually the first battle where I get to use the entire missile capabilities of of my units. I've used them all on my cavalry. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Okay. You run to there. Our infantry forward. I'm gonna actually put all of my mercenaries over there and I'm gonna put my hoplites on this left flank. The general shall stand over there. And the cavalry the cavalry shall stand in this location. Okay, what else are they going to do? I am hoping not much. Because I'd rather them aren't too much. Okay, they have one, two units of peasants three units of peasants that those are the skirmishes no four units of peasants 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 more peasants and more peasants so four units of peasants ah there's the javelineers okay then okay 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 now I remember my lesson from last time I'm not going to charge my cavalry into these units because I know they're actually way better than they look. 
And yes, you guys will be the ones to charge at me because you're the attackers. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to attack you. You shall attack me. Of course I'm bluffing, you know. Just gonna wait until they get close enough and I'll, then I'll just charge at them with no mercy whatsoever. Spread them out as much as possible. Okay, they are getting close and they are charging. Okay, time for this to stop. Mm -hmm. I want them to charge at my, my guys over there. Go for them. And then you. And then the four of you around you go. I did say I was bluffing, right? Right, get away. Okay, around you go. Those are skirmishers, yeah, those are the skirmishers. Cavalry, I'll need you over there. Okay, and charge into the backs of them. You go for there. Okay, they are starting to rout. Good. Everything is going marvelously well. Yes, everything is going tremendously well. Way better than I expected. Right, the javelineers, they are going to go down any second. At least I believe they will. And yeah, my bluff actually paid off. Dividends! Right. Marvelous. 11 for... how many have I killed? 78%. How many are over there? 23. Might as well go and kill those, I guess. 17. Not much. What are you doing? Wait, the mercenary hoplites are losing to a peasant unit? Really not. Oh, these are hoplite units as well. Okay. He already sustained some casualties, so go for those. Okay, where is my cavalry yet? Yeah. Not gonna catch them. There's 29 over here. Go after them, please. How many have we killed? 84%. Marvelous stuff. Yeah, I don't think they will survive. To the end of this battle in all honesty and the the king is still going my god would you look at that and granted he's not fighting against the best of units but yes militia hoplites might as well bring the mercenaries out there doing absolutely nothing and I don't want him to sustain any more casualties. Oh, the king is dead. Okay. Okay, five. Those are going out of the battlefield. And after the king is gone... We should have gotten the thing for victory about now. And we killed him. This will surely make his followers waver. They're all wavering. I should... There we go. 93%. Perfect. 
This is a heroic victory, worthy of Greek soldiers. Yeah, we just did incredible, I guess. Oh my, yeah, now we have Megara. Amazing.